It is that time of year where many high school seniors will have to plunk down a deposit on the college of their choice. And as they make their decisions, an important factor is the school's financial aid officer office offer. Consumer Reports has advice on how to understand your student's financial aid package and avoid excessive debt. High school senior Fiona Quinn is fortunate to have several college acceptances from both public and private schools. After comparing their financial aid packages, she picked a state school. The tuition was a huge factor in my decision. We knew that Fiona would come out with less debt and so would we. The financial aid offer letter is key to making the college decision. First, check what's being offered in grants and scholarships, which don't need to be paid back. A caution, the letter often only covers the first year. Contact the financial aid office and ask questions like, is a grant renewable? Um, does a scholarship require a certain GPA for it to continue into another year? The letter also details how much money you can get in federal loans. For the rest, you may have to look to private loans, which you borrow from a traditional lender. You want to make sure you start with federal loans. They have a lot of advantages over private loans. They have fixed interest rates. They also have more flexible repayment options. Also check whether the federal loans are subsidized. Those are preferable because you're not responsible for any interest that accrues until you leave school. There's a helpful tool where you can compare costs and financial aid at each of the schools you're considering at www.consumerfinance.gov slash paying dash for dash college. Like many students, Fiona found out figuring out how to pay for college has been an eye opener. There's no class on loans in high school. I have no perception of like how much in debt I'm going to be. Occasionally, it can be worth negotiating with the school for a better financial aid package, especially if your family's circumstances have changed because of events like a job loss or a divorce.